Hello friends, welcome to Alchemy Academy. Welcome to the lecture series on material science. Today we will be learning about mechanical tests performed on different materials. So what is the need to perform different mechanical tests on engineering materials? So when any material is brought into service condition, we need to know the properties of the material. Why? Because the material is subjected to different load conditions. So we need to know the properties of the material before it is put into service. So various mechanical tests performed on the materials are tensile test, tensile test, second one is the compression test, compression test, third one is the torsion test, fourth one is the creep test, etc. So these are some of the tests performed on the engineering material to find out the to find out the mechanical properties to find out the mechanical properties of an engineering material. So we need we, we are performing this mechanical properties so that we can design any material and put in the service condition. So, uh, so in today's session, we will be learning about how tensile test is performed on an engineering material. So, when coming to the tensile test, generally the tensile test is performed on universal testing machine. Universal testing machine. So, this universal testing machine consists of a standard specimen, standard specimen, prepared as per the ASTM standards. A specimen which is prepared as per the ASTM standards is gripped between the two heads. The, the, it is gripped between the two heads of the testing machine and the load is applied. So, uh, so basic purpose of tensile test is we will apply a gradually applied load. We will increase the the, the specimen is kept kept between two heads of the testing machine and a gradually increasing load is applied on the specimen and the specimen gets elongated and it gets elongated until it gets fractured. Thus we will be finding out the properties with this tensile testing machine. So uh, a standard specimen as per the ASTM standards is gripped between the two heads of is gripped between the two heads of the machine and a progressively gradually increasing load is applied and the, the how much load we are applying is measured with the help of a load cell and extension extension of the specimen is measured with the help of a extensometer or strain gauge so the load is applied gradually or slowly and the strain rates assumed are very less so generally a strain rates are 10 power minus 4 per second to 10 power minus 2 per second. So small strain rates are gradually applied and it, the specimen gets elongated under increasing load which is measured by the load cell and the specimen gets elongated until it gets fractured and properties like yield point, percentage of elongation, ultimate tensile strength, breaking point and resilience properties are noted with the help of this tensile test. So, um, so coming, uh, coming to the uh, important points regarding the performance of the tensile test, uh, basically we will be plotting, basically with the help of, with the help of tensile test, with the help of, with the help of tensile test with the help of tensile test we will be plotting load versus load versus extension curves we will be plotting load versus extension curves so uh, with the help of this load versus extension curves stress versus stress versus strain diagrams are plotted Okay, so with the help of this stress versus strain diagrams, we can find out properties like yield point. Okay, 
नेक्स्ट वन इज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द मेटीरियल स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द मेटीरियल और अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ ब्रेकिंग पॉइंट ब्रेकिंग पॉइंट परसेंटेज ऑफ एलोंगेशन और डक्टिलिटी सो दिस विद हेल्प ऑफ द स्ट्रेस ट्रेन कर लो स्ट्रेस ट्रेन डायग्राम we will be knowing these properties of the material yield point ultimate tensile strength point breaking point and percentage of elongation or ductility so uh, so so the major intention is to plot the stress strain diagrams now as i mentioned as i mentioned a standard specimen prepared as per the ahtm standards is gripped between the two heads of the universal tensile testing machine and a gradually increasing load is applied and the specimen gets elongated until it gets fractured so the standard specimen the standard specimen taken is is as follows so you will be taking a standard specimen uh, like this so the specimen cross section the specimen the specimen cross section can be can be either rectangular square or circular cross section or circular cross section okay so as per the astm standards we will be considering the standard diameter of the specimen as 12.8 mm as per the ahtm standards the standard diameter of the specimen is considered as 12.8 mm generally it will be in the range of 12.5 mm plus or minus 0.3 mm okay the parallel length the parallel length the parallel length or it is also called as the reduced section length reduced section length or parallel length it is taken as 57 mm so generally the uh, reduced section length or parallel length is taken as four times the diameter so generally four times diameter is considered in taking the taking this reduced section length so in evaluating the properties in evaluating the properties like yield strength ultimate tensile strength percentage of elongation we will be considering two permanent marks on the specimen and this the distance between two permanent marks on the specimen is called as gauge length the distance between two permanent marks on the specimen is called as gauge length so generally the gauge length is considered as per the ahtm standards is 50 mm generally it is considered as 50 mm or 50.2 mm so and and specimen as per the ahtm standards of these dimensions are prepared and it is gripped between the two heads of the universal testing machine and one grip and one head is considered to be moved down under progressively increasing load which is measured with the help of the load cell and extension is measured with the help of an extensometer or strain gauge so uh, so we uh, so we will be plotting the we will be plotting the load versus load versus extension curves so we will be plotting the load versus extension curves with the help of this tensile testing machine so if if you take a typical if you take a typical load versus extension curve for aluminium specimen it looks like this if i take if i take load on the y axis okay extension dl on the x axis the the load versus extension curve after performing tensile testing after performing tensile testing is as follows so you will be having the elastic region you will be having the elastic region which is the straight line 
will be having the yield point then the specimen enters into the plastic zone and this is the maximum maximum load it can withstand this is called as the ultimate tensile strength this is the yield point this is the breaking point so this is a typical load versus extension curve for the aluminium specimen under progressively or gradually increasing load with a small strain rates with a small strain rates okay so if you if you take the load divided by area it will become it will become stress taking the initial cross sectional area which is assumed to be constant from the starting to the breaking point and if you take the if you if you divide the extension by initial length if you divide the extension by initial length it becomes the strain so we are dividing we are dividing the two parameters by two constants load divided by the initial cross sectional area which is called as the stress and we are dividing the extension divided by the initial gauge length that poor two permanent marks made on made on the specimen will be getting the strain so the stress strain curves also look similarly because we are dividing we are dividing with two constants so uh, so generally uh, we will see some typical stress strain curves for different materials so tensile testing tensile testing is conducted is conducted for metals alloys comma plastics so generally for ceramics tensile test cannot be conducted because while aligning the work piece the work piece gets fractured so for metals for metals the stress strain curve a typical stress strain curve looks like this okay so for a this is for a this is for a metal next for a thermoplastic material for a thermoplastic material stress on the y axis strain on the x axis a typical stress strain curve looks like this so these are just the qualitative these are just the qualitative stress strain stress strain curves okay these two may be taken on different scales just for the purpose of how the stress strain curves look, looks like for a metal and a thermoplastic material thermoplastic material generally this is taken at a temperature more than glass temperature it looks like this okay so metal generally uh, the stress strain curve is taken at room temperature or the tensile testing is performed at room temperature for metal and the, for thermoplastic material the tensile testing is conducted at a, at a temperature more than glass temperature both the metal and thermoplastic material exhibits elastic plus plastic zones both in in both metal and thermoplastic material you can see elastic zone area and plastic zone area next uh, if you plot the typical stress strain curve for a elastomer like a rubber it looks like this stress on the y axis strain on the x axis it looks like this so this is for elastomer stress strain curve for elastomer like rubber rubber or and silicons rubber and silicons so elastomers like rubber and silicons exhibit exhibit large amount of exhibit large amount of non linear elastic zone exhibit large amount of non linear elastic zone so this is a typical stress strain curve diagram for a elastomer if you look at a brittle brittle material if you took, if you look at the typical stress strain curve for a brittle material stress on the y axis strain on the x axis it exhibits only the elastic region it exhibits only elastic region it doesn't exhibits any plastic zone or region 
सो दिस इज अ टिपिकल स्ट्रेस ट्रेन कर्व डायग्राम फॉर सेरामिक्स कामा ग्लास ओके सो दैट्स ऑल रिगार्डिंग द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ द टेस्टिंग मशीन हाउ द टेस्ट हाउ द टेंसाइल टेस्टिंग इज परफॉर्म and with the help of tensile testing how we are knowing the properties like yield point ultimate tensile strength point breaking point we'll be learning the further videos with the help of stress strain curves so the major intention of universal testing machine is to to perform the tensile test and find out the properties like yield point ultimate tensile strength point breaking point percentage of elongation that is ductility with the help of load versus extension curves and stress versus strain diagrams so we'll be learning how to plot stress strain curves and what are the different points in the stress strain curves for different materials in the next lecture thank you